Hello and welcome to ADER, Artificial Intelligence for Disaster Response, a platform put forth by the folks in the Social Computing Group at the Qatar Computing Research Institute. Um, ADER is a free, open source, and easy to use platform that automatically filters and classifies relevant tweets that are posted during humanitarian crises. It stands for Artificial Intelligence for Disaster Response. So during times of crisis and mass emergency, um, a lot of people turn to social media to gather and disperse timely and relevant information. Um, this falls under the overall category of crisis computing, which is when we use computers to gather, process, and analyze data uh, that are produced in response to or regarding a given disaster situation. Um, and as I said, ADER focuses specifically on social media and under social media, specifically on microblogging and uh, the use of Twitter, a popular microblogging service that's used throughout the world. Um, so how ADER works, um, it's, it certainly falls under the category of crisis computing, and it combines human intelligence and machine intelligence to attain results that neither could do alone. A lot of data is, is uh, produced in times of mass emergency, and it's too much for people to be able to digest on their own, um, and it's too complex for machines to be able to process it on their own. So we need to combine the two to attain the best results. Um, so as I said, the motivation behind ADER was to combine crowdsourcing um, and machine learning uh, to create this, this platform. So a little bit more detail here on ADER. Um, it involves first collecting Twitter data, which is where the machine comes in, um, collecting tweets based on particular keywords or geolocations. Um, and once the, all of those data are collected, people take over and they tag or annotate tweets with relevant categories of information. For example, this tweet contains information about medical needs, or this tweet contains information about a shelter. Um, so all of these tweets are annotated by people. And then we use those annotated tweets um, to feed into an automatic tagger, or an automatic an, um, an algorithm, really, that uses these data to automatically classify tweets and put them into the relevant categories. So the machine is able to use that human intelligence to then perform the activities that the humans can do, um, but much faster and at um, a much greater um, in a much greater number. So thank you, and please visit our website for more updated information, or if you would like to contact us for any reason. Um, also, you can find a link to more a more technical demo of this tool uh, at, in the accompanying description of this current screencast.